Now for the tricky multiplication. This is matrix times matrix multiplication, or just known as matrix multiplication. The dimensions don't have to be completely equal, but the inner dimensions must match. So if you have two matrices, your first one is n by m, and your second one is p rows q columns, your columns have to match your rows. The easy way to think about this is the inner dimensions must match. So m must equal p. When they match, the product, what you get after you multiply, will have dimensions n by q. So the inner dimensions match, your final dimensions on your product are going to be n by q. So we're going to do an example here. I strongly recommend that you draw arrows out. You need to go across and down is how you do multiplication. So we're going to do the reason that the dimensions have to match, you have to go across the same number of times you're going down. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So there needs to be three columns, three rows, so things match up. So I can already tell my, my inner dimensions match, my final dimensions, I should have a two by one matrix. So what you do is you multiply these entries, one times two, and then you add the next two right here, plus negative two times one, plus three times three. So you're going across the row, down the column, and you just multiply, 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 and then you add up that. We're going to do the same thing on the other row here. So 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus negative 2 times 3. And then we actually have to add up, multiply and add all these up. 2 minus 2 is 0 plus 9. 0 plus 1 minus 6 is minus 5. So we have 9, negative 5. If I had another column over here, I would go uh, first down that column, like I just did, and then I would get more entries over here where I would go across row 1, column 2, and then row 2, column 2, and I'd have two more entries over here. So let's try to multiply these uh, in the other direction. So we got 2, 1, 3 times uh, this matrix. So writing their dimensions out, this has how many rows? 3. How many columns? 1. How many rows here? 2. How many columns? 3. So we look at inner dimensions, not equal, so we cannot multiply. So we could write undefined. So we cannot, we're not even allowed to multiply these two matrices together. So what does this tell us? If you can multiply AB, so if you multiply A and B together, it's not really almost never going to be the same as B times A. In fact, here is an example where I can multiply two matrices one way, and the other is undefined. So in general, matrix multiplication is very not commutative.